Welcome to Date with Danu right here on Hi TV, your luxury channel. Sit down and enjoy because we have a great show coming up. It's all about tipsy and keeping it light. Yo, I'm Eric Heinrichs. Hey, I'm Dushanta. And we're here to... Go on a date with Danu. So, uh, this is my third time doing something with Danu and basically he just forces me to do this every time, so... Yeah, well, I'm here to talk about um, new experiences, festivals and some really cool stuff that's coming up. Hi, I'm Gaini. Hi, I'm Stefan. We're here to... Go on a date with Danu. So, I'm here to basically make Danu a few mocktails and not cocktails. Danu needs women for membership. And I heard that he has a thing for sexy bartenders. Welcome to the show and I have full house today, all the two sofas are full and we're going to be speaking more about what do we have in store. Uh, if you are wondering who these people are, let me just give you a small introduction. The man who is seated next to me is the founder of a beverage called Sozo. If you have had it, that means you know him. Uh, I have Dush. It's your time to smile. <laughs> Then I have uh, Gaini, who is Mrs. Soso, uh, who has actually been the one who sort of filled in the gaps. Correct? Yes, correct. Absolutely. Then we have Mr. Erickson, who is a YouTube sensation. He is the founder of Zombies in Sri Lanka. <laughs> <That's correct>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and then finally, we have somebody who has come all the way from Pitarata, Dubai to be precise, correct? Yes, Dubai. Stefan. Thank you for being here. Stefan is actually a bartender, correct? Correct. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when you were growing up, did you say, Mom, Dad, you know, son, what do you want to be? A bartender. <laughs> Was it something that you thought of when you were growing up? No. So uh, my dad wanted me to be, uh, as a, uh, to be working as a pilot. <laughs> All right. Um, I was so bad at school. Um, Definitely, it's all about going high in life. So yeah. uh, uh, then uh, I did. Uh, I studied hotel management in mm. in Sri Lanka, and then I moved to Dubai straight away, and that's where everything uh, kicked off. Now, in Dubai, of course, there is no shortcut there. Precise, everything needs to work around the clock. When you come here, do you see like we could really do with a bit of a whip <laughs> up our bum side? Um, we could, but uh, uh, for me, I think that, that it's in Sri Lanka, the tools, we are lacking the tools, we have the talent, so we just... Uh, what, glasses? <laughs> <laughs> what, you need to sh so the serve thing a is, drink in a glass? No, it's, it's, it's uh, uh, tools in the sense, it's not bar equipment that I'm talking about. Uh -huh. So you need a proper mentorship, you need someone to, yeah. to guide you in the right way. Uh, it's not just go to a school and study. And what you have to actually do is totally different, you know? So they don't teach you that at school. That is true. Well, we have to deal with what we have. For now, you are here, so you could give some tips on this. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we'll talk about why we have uh, Mr. Dush here, uh, who looks like uh, he's a summer drink ready to be served. Uh, <laughs> it's very kind, thank you. Yeah. yeah. It's a big, big drink. <laughs> we need to serve it off you. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> 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 right. Um, yeah. Tell me about uh, this. Yeah. Okay, you started from very humble beginnings to where you are today. Did you think this journey will bring you this far? No, not really. I mean, it was just uh, just a wild chase of exciting things, not really knowing where it really end up. And that's how beautiful things start. You know, you don't really know where it, where it goes. It's not predictable. So no, man, it was just discovering new things every day and uh, we still do continue to do that but yeah it's been a great great ride uh, you have been married for how long since 2015 okay yeah. eight years yes knowing each other 12 11 yeah. 12 years yeah, 12 years yeah. 12 years before 2015 no no no, no, no. Altogether. Altogether. all together yeah that's a lot all together um tell me in his wild ideas that he comes up with have you ever told him Mm, just let's stop and think about it. <laughs> Quite a few times, actually many times, but then he has his way of justifying. Right. Yeah. And, you know, getting things... Pushing on anyway. Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. then she way. thanks me. Oh, okay. For pushing yeah. on. Always? Most times. And then I wait for the I told you so. Ah, moments. Mm. That's the best part. That's a sweet revenge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Eric, the last I saw you was in an underwear. Really? In that commercial. The Huskies. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I do that on the side sometimes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Does that pay better than fully covered? Actually, yes. They do, right? Yeah, I, I knew it. Yeah, I know yeah. you're not surprised. And also, it. you know, foreigners have better legs. Our Sri Lankans no, have yeah. thin legs. I'm so insecure of my legs, though. Really? It's be better than most it's of the legs I've seen. It's yeah. stick like, I feel. See, uh, my legs are full. Yeah, I need full legs. Yeah, no, yeah, I, 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 I'll work out, like I do, like I, on YouTube, I do like specifically glute and calf workouts. On YouTube? To, yeah, on YouTube, there's like, you can watch and stuff. Oh, oh. Right. No, you don't just watch, it doesn't just happen. You have to do what they're doing. What they're doing, right? Okay. And so I've, I've been doing that, but still it's taking some time. But I so. think it looked better than the other guy. Th thank you. Yeah. That so means a lot. Worry. Yeah. So uh, apart from that, about, about, apart from stripping the pants down, <laughs> <laughs> anything else that has been new? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, a lot going on with us with our YouTube, our YouTube uh, sensationalism. Yeah. And when is the second uh, edition of uh, uh, Operation Lanka? Yeah, you know, it's in the works. You know, doing that was a lot of and fun. And you said that you're, you're giving me a starring role. Yes, last time, yes. Yeah, but you, but you also said, though. but you also said you you'd come to the zombie. come to the casting couch as Actually. well. Actually, huh? so. Yeah, I'm willing to. Yeah. All right. You in your, <laughs> you, you <laughs> your tighty whities <laughs> me on the casting couch. We're talking about a solid production well, here. Down here. <laughs> and we call it OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, now a contributor to OnlyFans. Oh, God. <laughs> well, those, that's you know, actually, not that's where the money is, darling. Yeah. It's that's where the money is. Hmm. Just leak a few out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are you regretting this show? Not at all. I see a sense of stress. No, there's no that. stress. Where, where do you see the stress? No, you were like digging your pants. You're like, ah, no, no, that's just, uh, that's me. Yeah, it's warm, right? It yeah, is. it's so warm. These bloody lights, it's super otherwise warm. we'd all look like dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we really have to put the lights to make us look nice, all right. Let's get into a segment that I really love and it's called Hot Say. Welcome back to the show and I have some questions. Normally we ask personalized questions considering the fact that you have not been living here and you have been in Dubai. I don't know what's happening with the shakes there. So I thought let's just, by the way, if there's a shake free, let me know. Oh. It's good you to sure? take a camel ride at times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know of any camels? A lot. <laughs> I want the camel and the owner. I don't want only the camel. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's go. If you could be a fly on the wall and spy on someone, whose wall would you choose to land on? G. Me. You want uh, to be on her wall? No, I'm asking her. No, I'm asking her. Oh. Whose wall do you want to land on? I, I don't know. I don't oh my God, that's a tough I want to spy on anybody. Maybe yours. Mine? Yeah. It'll be a sad ball. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I Let don't me know think. actually. No, I Bush? I can't think of any You can land on me as the fly. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it can do that also. <laughs> but I can't think of any wall I want to land on, to be really? honest. Really? Yeah. yeah. What, what are you, you going to do? Because Spy and then do what? Yeah. No. <laughs> People can't ask me intellectual questions for a hypothetical question. <laughs> yeah. Eric, please give me an answer. I, I would uh, go on Justin Bieber's wall. Right. Yeah. You're keeping it American. Yeah, I'm keeping it American because I, I like what he does and it'd be, uh, I'd be interested to learn what he's doing. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. Keeping it fresh. Mm. You? Biebs. Because I live overseas. I prefer to stay in my own wall back home. <laughs> yeah. Just to keep it low. Yeah. If you could click your fingers and get anything that your heart desires, what would you wish for? A state in the English countryside. Oh. Quite a lot of things. Wait. Can someone go before me? Did I think about it? Eric? I would want a teleportation machine. Good choice. Yeah, definitely. You? I would like a time traveling machine. Oh. Go back in time. Go back in time, okay. I would want the English countryside as well. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Easy. If being funny was the only way to survive in life, how long do you think you would live? Oh, five minutes. 
you are dead now. Yeah. <laughs> Just, you are actually dead while I was asking the question. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I think I could do OK. You I think I survive. could manage. You can little, eat at least 35. At 35 minutes? No, 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 35 yeah. years. Yeah, 35 years, yeah, yeah, yeah at least. <laughs> you? Yeah. I could survive as well. I'm a funny person. OK. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to have a same-sex encounter, who would you like to pick? Encounter? Isuru Fonseca. Okay. Good choice. Isuru <laughs> Fonseca. Oh. Um, Vanessa Kirby. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stop visualizing I, those. I want to hear what Stefan has to say. Justin Timberlake. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Eric? I'm thinking in Sri Lanka. I really, I, I think Amanda's a good looking guy. Amanda. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. really funny that none yeah. of you are bought of me, but it's okay. I, I <laughs> did. I did. <laughs> I was a second choice. <laughs> yeah, yes. And after you go, a Amanda, you ain't going to come close, close second. to me. second. <laughs> after you go, Amanda, you ain't going to come close to me. If you had to name a cocktail made for the show, what would you call it? Sex on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Quick. Uh -huh. uh, I would name a cocktail um, Opposite Sex Encounters. Right. The Fizzy Jimmy. I'm not that creative. <laughs> what turns you on the most? Sing Danu on that suit. Okay. <laughs> Sing, Sing Danu on that suit, you know. <laughs> this is our fish. He's our... turned on. Yeah. It's oh, working. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> it's working, Danu. My wife. You? What? What turns you on? Mm. Please note your wife said you. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> and I have to say, because all of y'all were so good, uh -huh. boring to death. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm giving this yeah. to Eric. Eric, you walk away with a gift bag from Crystal Luxury Woo! Wellness. You can look fabulous. And you know, we Thank don't you. even promote white skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good. On that, we are going to get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. It's a day for done. Welcome back to the show. It's a date with Danu, and we're talking to a very interesting lineup of people. Now, I want to ask you uh, it's always amazing to see a local brand thriving and creating a name and being on the shelves for a long time. It's very hard because, especially, we are talking about a very small market and a market that's already crowded when it comes to everything. Uh, but uh, this brand called Sozo? <laughs> Remember that, Eric? Sozo, what? Sozo, what? What, what is that? What? What is that? Yeah. So, 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 <laughs> so tell me, um, we, we had this plan just to act like body so so. Ah, you did So, very good one. Tell me, when you started this brand off, uh, what were the challenges that you faced? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think it's just been challenge after challenge, although there's been a nice run as well. It's usually very hard to think to get something off the ground in Sri Lanka, yeah. right? Everything's sort of against you from the time you start, from supply chains to all these boarding things, which I don't, I don't want to get into. But generally, it's very hard. And that's why they say, you know, success is super, super difficult, especially if you're bootstrapped. There's no investment ecosystem as such here in, in the country. It's just starting up. So, yeah, there were a lot of challenges. But I think, um, like I said earlier, we didn't really have like a game plan, you know, want to achieve this by this and whatever. We were just having fun, honestly. We were just mm. having fun. And that was the best antidote, I guess, to yeah. all those challenges. And uh, yeah, um, and then we just kept overcoming them. Yeah. Um, it's a risk factor when you have to leave a job oh, or yeah, leave off a mm. basic salary that you <clears throat> get at the end of the month. And knowing that it's comfortable in a way that you are happy that it's secure yeah mm. especially when you're when you got married your yeah. family to make such decisions how was it for the two of you you left it, a good job so yeah it was it was scary but you left the same, job as well no yeah 
Yeah. It was scary, and um, but but I must say something that really got us through, you know, through all those fears was that we actually had a very good community around us that really supported us through, and that is what actually got us through. Kept inspiring us, you know, encouraging us, and um, that really helped a lot. So having that community and the support structure around us yeah. helped us a lot. Otherwise, it would not have been easy. Yeah. Or maybe we wouldn't even have got this far if not yeah. for that. Yeah. Is he an easy, uh, let's say, boss to work with? No. <laughs> that was a very quick answer. Yeah, I yeah, didn't even think. Yeah. That was uh, <laughs> scripted. That was just no. pretty natural. <laughs> uh, let's speak about that in a bit. Uh, <laughs> Stefan, your time in Dubai, uh, like, we see Dubai just buzzing. And have you ever thought, you know, I should just come back to Sri Lanka now and see what I can do here? Yes, I'm actually thinking of coming to Sri Lanka end of this year. Ah, okay. To live in Sri Lanka and to start up on something on my own. So um, I'm in the process of uh, um, speaking to different people uh, from the industry uh, because I have no experience how the, the country works in terms of uh, the hospitality and the restaurant business. So um, hopefully by end of this year, uh, you'll see me a lot in Sri Lanka. Yeah, a lot. There is a lot of alcohol intake, but not, we don't need it to look pretty. <laughs> That's, that's the truth. Mm. Um, so Eric, you are part of the brand Sozo. In, right. In, in creating a new culture these days. Right. A culture of fun, excitement, music, all of this. Yeah. Uh, tell me, from a creative point of view, like how do you sort of see this going forward in Sri Lanka? Yeah, I really like what, what uh, Sozo is doing, what Dushan Gayan are doing, because it's going to be something very fresh and new. Um, and I think really the whole idea of creating this culture around, you know, it's called the Jazz and Tonic Festival that's going to be coming. I think it's going to be something that kind of gives a space for more creativity, more opportunity. Um, and it's something what I like uniquely about what they're doing too. You see a lot of events happen, right? You know, we, we get invited to all events all the time. And they're kind of like this one and done thing. They just boost the sponsorship with random influencers. They have no idea who they are kind of thing. Uh, but this is very intentional. And it kind of has a long-term projection of actually making impact in the country and in the culture, so yeah, it's cool. Uh, talking about what is this all about? That's where I need Dush. Uh, Dush, you, you wanted to merge music, yeah. good food, drinks, an atmosphere for celebration. Uh, yeah. Why? Because I think you know we it, have all yeah. that. That golf is green. <laughs> yes, I guess you could say that. <laughs> yeah. um, no, but really, uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, no, but honestly, I think that we uh, we don't have those kinds of uh, you know entertainment in Sri Lanka. Uh, you see all this happening overseas, and the, the 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 real difference is that the thinking is different in Sri Lanka. So we were like, let's let's change the game here because you know you know you can just have a great time. You can have um, a nice musical experience. You can try elevated cocktails, for example, um, and spend time doing various different things rather than just come for a show stay at something and then you know mm. go back. Uh, Be interactive but, about Yeah, it. but like yeah. Eric said, our plan is to really have a series of different things. So from things like bar takeovers, uh, various pop-ups, it'll just be a continuing thing. And uh, like I've said this before, we, we really want to take this international. Mm. Uh, I'm thinking like Tomorrowland, but scale down to a bit more uh, like sophisticated. Like Todayland. Todayland, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but absolutely, yeah. You want to change the mm -hmm. game, yeah. That's amazing. All right, we have a fun game, and it's called Yes or No. All you have to do is tell the truth. We'll see you on the other side. It's time to speak the truth. I'm going to ask you, have you ever cleaned your nose in the car at a traffic jam? Good boy. You have never? Nope. No. Actually, no boogie no, time? No, no. It's no. amazing. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> never have I used a neighbor's Wi Fi. I think it has the best security ever. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just not being good at it. No, none of y'all. 
How do you do that? Uh, no, if I ever get a free Wi-Fi, I just quickly download apps. Yeah, but you need a password. No, but sometimes, you know, yeah. older people don't have. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> never have I ever stayed up all night either watching movies or playing video games. I've stayed up all night. Yeah. Yes? Yes, yes. That means I have done that, right? I yeah. have. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Do you lie about your age to seem younger to others? Do you? No. <laughs> when you're in your 20s, you don't need to lie. Right. <laughs> well said. Yeah. Never have I ever given a missed call. Expect the, so that the other call will come my way. Just yeah. to act, oh, it's by accident. <laughs> uh, not like that. Um, some people expect missed calls, like they say, just give a missed call, we ring you back. So then, yeah. But not like to get a free call or something. You're no, 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 but I'm just saying like... just so that they would... Yeah, yeah. like know that oh, you no, exist. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, you've given somebody a missed call. Like a little hint. Uh, what? Who does that? Call me back. Hello, when you are attracted no. to someone, when you want to grab someone's attention. Did you get them to call you? No. <laughs> you give a missed call, call and you're like, I'm so sorry. Uh, my call was like, my phone uh, was in I the say, yeah, pocket. So oh. yeah. It's been so long, no? <laughs> for you? Some strategy. Yeah. Yeah. It's been so long for you. Yeah, never had to do, uh, never yeah, do that. Do right? I don't think at that time yeah. you had that. Landlines didn't give missed calls. <laughs> 12 years. Are you kidding me? I don't think landlines fit into a pocket. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever promised something knowing you'd never deliver it? <laughs> <Yeah>. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently. Yeah. Recently? <laughs> yeah. Don't. <laughs> I'm not getting anything here. That's just. Yeah, yeah. Still don't want to like accept it. No? Terrible. Have you ever had strong feelings for someone who didn't have the same feelings as you? It's my case always. <laughs> Do you think there is more to reality than we can see and understand? Oh, for sure. Absolutely. All right. Last one. Have you ever dated someone more than once, even though you knew going back to them was a bad thing for you? Mm. Yes. Oh. Dubai seems to have gone through this problem. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that? Elaborate, please, a little bit. Um, working colleagues together. Ah, yeah. never. That's, yes. That's, yes. That's a yes. taboo subject. You should never. Learn and never going back never, to that. Never. It's impossible. It, it impossible. can never happen. When you get promoted or when the other person gets promoted, it becomes Done, catch too. Yeah, yes. cut to the core. <laughs> well, this segment was made possible by our friends at Dialogue. We're talking about Power Plan. If you're a part of Power Plan, you get to enjoy exclusive discounts with the latest smartphones out there. It's a perfect gift that you can think of giving me, uh, just to let you know. And also, you get to enjoy unlimited data when it comes to watching your YouTube. Now, if you want to see Eric's content, it's available there and you get a chance to watch it. If Eric's content is not the greatest, you know the next, <laughs> the best option for you is always Date with Danu. You can also do data rollover because if you have just been a viewer of Eric's content, you are like, it's not my thing, and you have saved so much of data, you can take it forward the next month and watch all my shows. It's that cool. So uh, Data Power Plan really helps all of us. And at the same time, I'm telling you, you get to enjoy unlimited D2D &D calls. Although we have such things, we don't use it. But from today, I'm going to be calling all of you. Actually, not right. you, just the three of you. Yeah. <laughs> you are an international number. What am I going to do with oh, you? I'm using a dialogue number. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> well, at the same time, if you do upgrade to unlimited calls to any network, you can do that as well for just 100 rupees. All this and more on dialogue.lk or just log on to their website. If not, you can just download their app for more details. Back with us on the show, this is Date with Danu. I really want to speak a little bit about, uh, you know, 
keeping things afloat, it is really hard. And a lot of people are leaving Sri Lanka and thinking, you know, this is not the place to be. Uh, it's always green on the other side. Let's speak about someone who thought this is green and came here. Eri? Yeah. Yeah. You let the dollars go. Yeah, I let that. I let the dollars go. Yeah, and came How to Sri Lanka. A lot of people ask about that. They're like, why are you here? Why yeah. don't you go back? And, and different things like that. Uh, I really think, um, you know, it, so much it has to do with perspective, the way that you see opportunities in front of you. Mm. I think there's so much that you can do in Sri Lanka. And the other day I did uh, like a little poll on my Instagram story. Oh, I thought and, we were uh, doing a poll. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking about what you said about my legs. That was so encouraging. You know, because I, I was doing the shoot the other day. And I had to wear like these like very small orange shorts, and I was so insecure. And then you said that. And you show it, it to me a lot. in person. I'll yeah. judge it. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But uh, I did this poll, um, this review thing on my Instagram, and I was asking question: Who thinks you know you need to go to a big university to be successful? Um, and it was actually cool to see a lot of people said, "No, it's not necessary." And I'm I'm, I'm actually quite along those lines. Um, a lot of people think you need to go somewhere to get some kind of. Uh, accreditation or you know degree and of course if that's your path of course go for it but actually there's so much we can create just mm. with you know with what we have in front of us and, and it's really sad when somebody from outside comes and sees the value yeah. in our country yeah. and says it back to us and we're like yeah why do you like Sri Lanka? no I love this but there's so much opportunity like I, know. Uh, I think it's really a it's a gold mine of what you can do Especially at the time when the Aragali took off and uh, another time when we went through such long fuel crisis and when we knew that Sri Lanka looked grey, we didn't see anything bright mm -hmm. happening and we were just going back. Running a business at that time and having people yeah. depending on you to pay yeah. salaries and keeping your fire burning at home, yeah. how did y'all manage that? Like we were so happy that although we had a reduced salary amount, we still got something. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was crazy. I, yeah. I, I think we, during the, during the lockdowns, for example, we converted our uh, garage at home into a warehouse. We found police permits and we started delivering everything ourselves so that we can pay all our salaries. Mm. And we would do it every single day. And, and I'm so proud to say that we didn't cut a single cent. Yeah. We didn't have to. Uh, we, we, uh, yeah, we it's not that we like, had to tell ourselves that we actually didn't have to. Mm. That was provision and that was amazing. But um, yeah, it wasn't easy, man. Thinking about yeah. that, yeah, it's almost like a, like a it's like impossible. every every day you have to keep renewing your mind. Exactly. And conditioning it. And yeah. conditioning it and yeah. not sort of let yourself sink in. Mm. Yeah. Coming from the land of oil, <laughs> looking at what Sri Lanka was going through, how was it for you all in Dubai? For us, um, um, I know you all didn't protest and all. No protest, yeah. nothing. I mean, everything, uh, the companies that uh, each and every person were working were taking care of their employees. So, example, when we were hit with COVID, our companies sent us uh, bags of food every other day to wherever place you live to. And our salaries were paid 50%. Uh, so we could support our families back home. So um, Dubai was amazing during this um, crisis. They, they handled it really well. Um, personally, Tell me uh, one thing that you yes. would like Sri Lanka to adopt about the system in Dubai. I mean, just think, think about the long-term plan and just work on it. Not, not say about and talk about it today and forget it tomorrow. So people give so much of uh, ambitions, but people don't work on them. And that's, uh, I think, what happened with Dubai is he had a vision for 20 years. And no matter what came across, he made sure that he, he did that within that uh, 20 years mm -hmm. and look where they are now so true yeah. true hmm something to ponder about yeah, yeah. that actually yeah rest heavy you know yeah yeah actually i was also thinking i would like your shirt to we can use it as a cushion cover <laughs> it actually does match yeah. the yeah. fabric yeah, on yeah, it give it does. can you give it to me after this yeah yeah do you really want it Okay, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Next show you have, you'll see you that shirt <laughs> right yeah. there. You'll have a little bit of you sitting everywhere. Yeah. Exactly, you can yeah. take me with you. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's going to just be here. <laughs> Let's get into a segment that we like to call it Kinky. All right, it's time for some kinkiness. <laughs> Stefan, what's the biggest fetish you are yet to fulfill. 
Like I think I'm gonna go into uh, to toes. Into what? Toes. Toes, like like toes. Toes. It's a thing. Toes. It's a thing. Toes. You get yes. a lot of money doing that. You know, yeah, I get a lot actually. of messages for it as well. Asking know. for yeah, your it's toes. A thing right now. My yeah. toes, my feet. <laughs> Don't you get messages? <laughs> Not for my toes. <laughs> really? Yeah, I haven't gotten that. Really? Or, but there, I, get, I get messages on Instagram saying, "Sir, can I please link your <laughs> oh toes?" Oh my god. Oh, yeah, foot fetish. Got a lot of people. It's a thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. All right. So you are into toes. Good on you. <sighs> Eric, mm. before you got married, have you ever fantasized about one of your friend's parents? <laughs> uh, one of my friend? No, actually, no. A lot of my friend's parents were actually quite a bit older. <laughs> so no, no, not, not that I can remember. I did have one teacher once who was really, really pretty. Yeah. We have all had a crush on a teacher. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to ask the two of you one question. Ah, okay. Would you consider being tied up with handcuffs while you're in the bedroom? <laughs> oh I don't God. mind. <laughs> yeah, you answered it. What? I said I don't mind. <laughs> You don't mind? Oh my gosh, she doesn't mind. Oh my God. Would you do I, it? I will. I, I will do not tie her up and forget and go somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's probably like the car. Yeah. Oh and you are just tied and like starving there. <laughs> Gianna will have to come for my rescue. Yeah. You're tied. I said my daughter will have to come. Uh, my of course. That would be a little. Uh, you uh, know what? I'm going to give this to you. Explain. Uh, because you have things that you can tie yourself up with. Ooh. And uh, Dush, yeah. I've got it's to get just a matter of you yeah. delivering yeah. your side of the bargain. Okay. Okay. So Midnight Divas start. can be put to full use. Yeah. And even if Dush is not there, I have given you things to keep you happy. Let's get oh. into a break. We'll oh, see really? you right after. <laughs> And right now, we have to ask some very sticky questions, and it's called Dish the Dent. <sighs> I just feel like Dush is fading away. Yeah. Little by little. Into the couch. Yeah, into, into the, the couch. couch. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. That's an immersive effect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're okay, no? You're you want holding me to take on? off the shirt? No. <laughs> You're holding on? <laughs> I, I think I'm okay, yes. Yeah. Uh, now, this is something that I want to speak about. Uh, I know that the, the three of you have a very, very uh, strong presence in terms of your faith. Mm -hmm. And it is quite seen and it's appreciated. And I, I don't know, Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really do. Ask him, ask him. What is your, I don't want it. Like, <laughs> what are you into? <laughs> Toes. <laughs> oh but, um, you know, um, especially today, Sri Lanka is, is definitely in severe conversation when it comes yeah. to religious opinions and views of speaking about it out loud or anything. Uh, considering the fact that not everyone Praise and worships and finds faith in the uh, in the structured outlet. Mm -hmm. uh, your faith has been practiced through WOW. Mm -hmm. And have you all ever faced negative comments thrown at you all just because of the institution that you all choose to pray with? Yes. Mm. Yeah, quite, I think that's true for everyone, right? Quite I mean, a bit. yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, absolutely. And how do you all handle that? Because that doesn't define you, but that's mm. what creates who you are. Because yeah. everyone's yeah. faith is yeah. very personal to you, someone. You answer exactly. the question. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. 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 Sometimes I'm telling you mine. <laughs> <laughs> just so just skilled. Up, I know. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly what it is, yeah. No, answer something then. Uh, and how do you handle it? I mean, look, there's always going to be someone to say something about anything, yeah. really. So if it's true to you and if you're doing uh, good out of it, if you are, you know, becoming a better person and whatnot, and then that's all that matters. Yeah. And I mean, our stance is we respect everybody, and mm. um, we don't really want to take mm. sides or what. It's not about that, really. Yeah. You know, it's really yeah. about coming and having an awesome time and enjoying it. And it's about yeah. what you create beyond that, no? Yeah. Yeah. Beyond your time of faith. 
yeah. exactly. what you are, yeah. what you contribute exactly. to the world. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, especially in the recent past, a lot of th things have been hitting the news. Have you all ever found it worrying? No, I can't. No, think. I, I don't think so. No. no I suppose if yeah. you if you really believe in what you believe in, um, and you know your Worrying everything about it? you Just is the fact of practicing proudly out loud without any fear. Mm. Oh right, no, no, not really, no. No, okay. yeah. no not at all. Yeah, I think because of, you know, because I mean I know the way that I carry what I believe. You know, yeah. I think. You know, n never, I honor so much what everybody has, and I know that there's so many other creative outlets that people have, and they have totally different, you know, especially mm. doing content creating. You see some of the most superb creations come out of somebody who has a totally different totally belief. Different belief yeah. Yeah. And then it's like, wow, okay, yeah. if I really think that what I have is all it, then I must not have all it, you know? Yeah. That is true. But really yeah. look at everybody and honor that everybody carries a piece of the divine, yeah. mm. you know? And to look yeah. at that and honor that is important. So. And it's a puzzle that makes a picture beautiful. Yes. And we need to have those odd shapes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And if Absolutely. you really believe in what you believe in, then nothing should really shake you also, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, True. Stefan, just... what is your take on this topic? Just do your own thing and don't harm anyone, you know? Just believe in what you believe. Yeah. And uh, as long as the other person is not uh, threatened or not being disturbed about what you believe in, that's it. So, I yeah. think uh, everybody will have a piece of. of I like your accent. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. yeah. Do what you like. It's a toss. It's a What kept you happy? Why did you get raped in Dubai? I get raped behind the bar, but with drinks. Because you know, there's a lot of things that have been put together. Yeah, but it, I, it has merged into something nice. Yeah. So why did you choose him as the bartender for you? Oh, that's a very interesting story. So actually, Stefan and I met online. Oh, um, what, Tinder? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I know that. I knew you were going to say that. But you know, it, it's interesting because this guy just pops up on my feed and he's won awards. Right? This right. guy is killing it in yeah. Dubai. Uh, national bartender championships to uh, I mean amazing like non-stop yeah and, yeah, and he like, does it with a smile did you know that yeah. he is half Sri Lankan and half Filipino ah really yeah. ah. so so I reached out I'm like hey man uh, and he's, he tells me his whole story I'm like calm down let's uh, catch up so we meet in Sri Lanka just super uh, abruptly and uh, yeah we just sort of connected I loved what he was doing and we just put something together it's been great yeah. Amazing. Did you find a stronger connection with Stefan or with me? Stronger, I'm starting to get a, 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 to uh, have a stronger connection with you, um, but with him, he was just like this. Just like that. It was awesome actually. For me, me is gradual, is it? Yeah. <laughs> you've, you've got to uh, gradual. Just mean, let me just say it. <laughs> let me just say it. For people like you and me, crossing the leg is a hard task. Just put it down. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Happy? There you go. Happy? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, Stefan, I just wanted to know, when you do your drinks, why is it important to be that forceful in you? Um, <laughs> because that's how you present yourself as a bartender. Right. So, first thing is, uh, what I tell my bartenders or what I tell to uh, the younger uh, bartenders who are just joining the industries, it's it's all your personality first and your attitude and how you present yourself as a That's bartender. Swag. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you take 10 bartenders, 10 bartenders will have 10 different yeah. styles mm. and 10 different methods. Um, so this is uh, the style that I found and that I was getting lots of comments about good That's and true. bad. So I just wanted to, to go with that. Uh, with that uh, we saw yeah. you at the latest bar takeover, me and a friend of mine called Natalie were looking at you perform and we thought you shook the daylights out of it. You seem to be just keeping yourself happy by yourself, I'm sure. Yeah. At that rate, I don't think I need anything else. Let's get into a break. We'll see you right up. Welcome to the show, and it's time to play on a scale. On a scale, you also walk away with a gift bag from our friends at Chariot. Uh, so, if you want to win it, this is what you need to do. 
Okay. Now, because the two of you are married, you will scale each other. Okay. Eric, you will scale yourself. Okay. And Stefan, you will do the same okay. because you all don't have your significant others or you all don't know each other intimately still. <laughs> True. Yeah. 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 Ready? Yeah. Uh, so the highest point is 10. Yeah. Lowest is that, write it big okay. Okay. All right. so that we can see it. Right. Right. Here we go. So your question is about her, Madame sure. All of you all get the same question. How likely are you to ring up an ex for a favor? You are answering for him. How likely is he to ring up? Show. 1109? One, one, <laughs> yeah, really? Ah, <laughs> 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 yeah. all friends. Nine, okay. Should have been ten, yeah. <laughs> How creative do you consider yourself to be? Creative. Do you consider yourself to be? Why not? Let's just go for it. Nine, nine. Ten. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> really? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How well are you known for being reliable? Mm. Very interesting. Where's my answer? Uh, be honest, darling. We all know. <laughs> <laughs> seven, six, five. Se what? Seven. Seven. Ah. I think I she's more copy. reliable. I didn't copy. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's more reliable. How spontaneous, spontaneous are you on a daily basis? Ten. He's spontaneous? Very. I'm not. Four. Okay. <laughs> Eight. Seven. I'm not spontaneous at all. Uh, oh, how important is it that you accomplish something productive every day? Six, ten, ten, ten. Six. He gave you six. Yeah, no, that's true. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Fabulous. Thanks for being really honest. I'm going to give this to the two of you. Um, congratulations. If you were wondering how do I have such superpower in lifting it like this, <laughs> little inside the TV, it's an empty bag at this very moment. I did it and I realized. <laughs> There you go, that's what you're reading. <laughs> Anyways, it's been lovely having you guys on the show. So do follow the journey of uh, the, the jazz festival. And tonic festival. Yes. Yeah. The Jazz and Tonic Festival. Yeah. It's going to be quite exciting having some young talent, music, entertainment. Who doesn't need that? We all need yeah. that just to like, yeah. relax and just wish it was a bit cooler. Mm -mm. Oh, we'll try it. We'll yeah. Try. Actually, do one in earlier. It's already planned. Thinking. Yeah. I took my idea so quickly. Oh, you! <laughs> Everyone seems to be doing that. You can't. You can't do this. See, I also can't put my leg up. So you, why? You, I'm you, just you trying just to tell you, accept it. I oh, know. I just like doing this anyway. <laughs> you don't. You put your leg down. <laughs> See, Eric can. He has no thunder thighs. Yeah. Which, thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just telling you. Anyway, on that note, we need to wrap things up. I'm so happy that I've met you in my life and you're absolutely a wonderful chap. And knowing the fact that, you know, he's thriving and doing things and at the same time incorporating people in it, it's amazing. Well done to you thank and you. you. Thank, uh, you. thank you so very much for being here. Lovely having you both. You. Um, doesn't want to wear a jacket for the show and really like hurt my feelings. That's <laughs> oh a different story. God. But Eric, thank you so very much for being here. Give my love to your better half. Yes, of course. Yeah. And can you please buy her a better wig? Yeah, I know, that's an oh, old yeah. wig. For the, for that's the, an old yes, wig, please. yeah. That auntie character is now looking we, very like... <laughs> we got it from some shop in... Yeah, she Angela. looks as if she's been yeah. beaten. <laughs> <laughs> and it's somebody been, sat on her through. for like one whole day. <laughs> Just get her a better wig. Okay, cool, noted. Cool her. Just get, give it a blow dry. Yeah, yeah. at least. Yeah. <laughs> Just letting you know. <laughs> Stefan, I'm very happy that you are here. Thank I'm you so happy you. that you were able to bring your talent here as well. Uh, 
I wish you only the best in the next few months in you doing all these gigs here. Uh, thank you for coming back to Sri Lanka if you do. All right. On that note, we need to wrap things up. Thank you so very much for tuning in and being a part of Date with Danu. Until we see you again, you keep smiling. Till back on the show.